you're going to die, never even trying to reach your full potential. This was the life you were supposed to live, but you didn't even try. Those of you that are watching this, you will not find toughness in a comfortable environment. Leave your comfort zone behind and start a new chapter right now. Achieving high grades is a mindset. I receive emails every single day from students needing help to turn their grades around. And that's why I love what I do. Because I was stuck in that same situation. I was miserable at high school. I was getting average grades. And that's being generous. I didn't enjoy studying. It was boring. I couldn't see how it could benefit me in any way. Therefore, I didn't study. However, I finally destroyed my self-limiting beliefs and graduated university with a 4.0 GPA. It is absolutely possible for you to jump at least two grade levels within the next 30 days. Whatever grade system is being used at your school or university, if you're averaging 50%, then you can increase that to 70%. If you're getting C's, then you can increase those to A's. If you're averaging a 2.0 GPA, then you can achieve a 4.0 GPA. If you're already on a 4.0 GPA, then you can climb to the top of the class. You'll probably be thinking, that's not possible. If I can ask for one thing while you're watching this, please, watch it with an open mind. Do not set self-imposed limitations on yourself. You can't change the past, but you can change the future. Just because you've been getting C grades your whole life, it doesn't mean that it has to continue that way. I've done it myself. I destroyed my self-imposed limitations and stopped studying like a D-grade student and started studying like an A-grade student. And the rest is history. I didn't believe that I was smart enough to achieve incredible grades. I thought that the top performing students in my class were just naturally more gifted than me. They could do things that I couldn't. And because I had placed those self-restricting limits on myself, I didn't even try to study and get good grades. Because what was the point? I didn't believe I could achieve them anyway. Exam after exam, I'd get average grades. Sometimes I'd fail. Sometimes I'd scrape a pass. I always thought I wasn't capable of achieving A grades. I always thought I wasn't smart enough, or that studying just wasn't one of my strengths. But it was a self-fulfilling prophecy. If I thought I wasn't capable of achieving incredible grades, then of course I was never going to achieve them. I set myself up for failure every time. After graduating, I was rejected from all the universities I applied for because my grades just weren't good enough. I didn't qualify. I felt rejected, depressed, miserable. But I made a decision. I would do something about it. It was only after I started to believe that I was capable of achieving extraordinary things that my actions started to match my dreams. I believed that I could achieve A grades, so I started studying like an A grade student. I started to work harder. I started to live life with intention. I started to achieve things that just a year previously I didn't think were possible. One of the common similarities that I notice with most of the emails that I receive is that students have put self-limiting restrictions on their own academic performance. They don't believe they can climb to the top of the class. Therefore, they don't. What they don't realize is that they have greatness within them. What they don't realize is that they are more powerful than they can ever begin to imagine. Too many students are slowed down by the perception of themselves. If you're taught you can't achieve incredible things, then you don't achieve incredible things. Do you know how many people had visions, dreams, and huge plans they were going to move forward with, but they let their self-doubt get the better of them? They talked themselves 
out of making a magnificent impact on not only their lives, but their families' lives and the people's lives around them. A lot of us haven't tapped into our full potential yet. We're living in our own bubbles, where we're just not aware of our own capabilities. We have doubts sometimes. We have negative thoughts running around our mind. Some people will try to drag you down, and sometimes you'll allow them. That's why you have to learn to make a conscious effort to keep your inner mind strong, working on yourself, building yourself up, keeping yourself strong on the inside. I was one of the lucky ones. I was able to shake off the self-limiting restrictions I had put on myself. For my whole life, I thought I was just average. But I didn't realize that there was a spark inside me that just needed lighting. I needed someone to tell me that I was capable. As Brian Tracy says, self-limiting beliefs ultimately mark the difference between those that achieve major success and those that don't. When you practice self-limited thinking, you paralyze yourself at the starting line. You become so obsessed and distracted by making excuses and convincing yourself that you can't do something that you don't even give yourself the opportunity to try. This way of thinking is one of the biggest preventers of achieving your goals. What we believe about ourselves will determine whether we move through barriers and obstacles, or whether we let them stop us in our tracks. The belief that we have control of our actions. We don't usually work hard towards things that we believe we're not good at. If you believe you're not good at studying, then you're not going to go after the top grades. Generally, we don't take actions if we think we're going to fail. So it's important to first understand exactly what your core limiting beliefs are. And then, take extraordinary action to break those beliefs. Because our beliefs are malleable. We can change them. And that's what we need to do when we find ourselves stuck, getting the same grades again and again without any improvement. So many of our limitations are self-imposed and we program our brain to think a certain way, and that's our limit. And until we can become uncomfortable and experience the extreme pains that come with it, we don't know what we're really made of, and we don't know what we're really capable of. I'll leave you with the powerful word of David Goggins. Most of this generation quit before they even get started. If you have any mental toughness, any ability, if you have any fraction of self-discipline, the ability of not wanting to do it, but still doing it, if you can get through to doing things that you hate to do, on the other side is greatness. If you liked this video on self-imposed restrictions, I made a video on how I, personally, managed to destroy my own self-limiting beliefs just five years ago, and how it completely changed the course of my life. Click on the video on the screen, and I'll see you over there.